Hey guys, Vincent Rose here, H2G Fitness, coming to you from behind the wheel of my car. I hope everyone is having an incredible day. I am uh, on my way home from the gym right now. Just got done with an epic back workout and uh, had a good time. Probably spent, I don't know, maybe about an hour, um, but there's very little rest time. Uh, probably did, I think, eight different exercises, four sets of each one for a total of 28 working sets which uh, might be a pretty high number but being that the back you want to hit it from so many angles to bring out all the different features you know i like doing a a good number on it so anyhow that being said wanted to record a quick video for you guys topic of today has to deal with metabolism and uh how it's able to adjust and adapt and recalibrate and all this kind of fun stuff so you know i'm training a lot of clients right now and it's crazy to see where some of their um, metabolisms are operating at. It's even crazier to see where some of their metabolisms are not operating at. On average, you should be able to take your body weight, times it by 15, and whatever that number is, is about what your maintenance level of calories should be. And when I say maintenance level of calories, what I mean is, that's an uh, about, it's approximate. This doesn't take genetics into effect and all that kind of stuff. But what it means is take your body weight times 15 and that is about the amount of calories you should be able to eat and maintain your current body weight. Meaning you will not gain weight, you will not lose weight, you'll maintain. Hence the you know, phraseology or terminology um, maintenance level. So with that being said, when somebody wants to go into a, you know, a cutting phase where they want to get rid of body fat, typically what you should do is drop your calories by 20%. So instead of eating 15 times your body weight, you'll eat 12 times your body weight. So take your body weight times 12, whatever that number is, that's where you should be able to eat at. Now, here's the thing you have to understand. If your metabolism is healthy, if you are able to eat 15 times your body weight and maintain your current body weight, meaning that's your true maintenance level, and then if you drop it by 20%, start eating 12 times your body weight, and you begin to lose weight, that will work, okay? Now, what you have to keep in mind, we're talking about metabolism here, your metabolism will eventually catch on to what it is that you're doing and what used to cause change no longer will and your metabolism will literally recalibrate to the amount of calories that you're eating which is 12 times your body weight and it will readjust and it'll make that your new maintenance level meaning if that becomes your new maintenance level at that point in time you will stop losing weight and when this happens you only have one of two options you can either increase the amount of activity that you're doing per day, whether that be resistance training and or cardio, or you can decrease the amount of calories that you're consuming. Either way, what this causes is a lower, or I'm sorry, it, what it causes is a higher caloric deficit, meaning um, you're expending more calories, so you are then able to um, continue to burn fat. So you can either, if you're eating 12 times your body weight and your body recalibrates, you can drop it to 11 times your body weight or 10 times your body weight. That will get the, um, the weight dropping again. Or if you want to keep maintaining eating 12 times your body weight, you can add in some additional cardio and you'll cause the exact same effect. Now here's the funny thing, not really the funny thing, here's the pain in the butt. Eventually, your metabolism is going to catch on again and it will recalibrate again to what you were doing. It is a survival um, thing. Your body, you know, if you get stranded on an island and the only thing that you're finding to eat is coconuts, the nutritional value, the, 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 the caloric value of a coconut isn't that much. And you might only be eating two or three of those a day. And though you're barely consuming any calories, you will survive. You will not starve to death. Your body will literally readjust, recalibrate itself, slow down your metabolism, and give yourself the ability to sustain life. So let's back up here. 15 times your body weight is your maintenance level. Drop it to 12 times. You'll begin to lose weight, but eventually it'll recalibrate. At that point, you can increase activity or decrease calories keep the weight loss going, and your body will keep recalibrating. And what you will continuously do is every time you stall out or plateau, you will have to either increase 
calories, I'm sorry, increase activity or decrease calories in order to keep the, the weight loss going. It's just the name of the game. It's how it works. And then after you've reached whatever, you know, physical conditioning you're trying to reach or whatever body fat percentage or whatever ideal weight, you know, you can then slowly begin to start bringing your calories back up and your metabolism will eventually walk itself back up if you do it in a slow manner. This is actually called reverse dieting. So anyhow, um, kind of some little bit advanced information maybe for some of you guys, but hopefully you got something out of it. Um, if you have any more questions about it, feel free to touch base. I'd love to help you out. This is literally, you know, the approach that people take in order to be able to help people lose weight, contest prep, all this kind of fun stuff. So anyhow, with that guys, over and out, this is Vincent Rose, H2G Fitness. The future's bright, something good is happening. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'll encourage you to do so. And if you want to go ahead and hit the like button, if you got something out of this video, I won't be mad at you at all. So hope you have an incredible day. Good talking with you. Be blessed.